that's the rule that if we end up with a solution here we go if we end up with solutions that are complex conjugates alpha plus or minus beta i then we'll write our solutions in terms of sines and cosines this alpha part is the real part we'll have e to the alpha x and then we're going to have a cosine take that uh, coefficient of the imaginary part beta x and sine beta x will be our two different solutions e to the alpha x cosine beta x e to the alpha x sine beta x those can be combined by multiplying the the sines and the cosines by constants okay so here we have uh, y double prime plus 4y prime plus 6y is equal to 0. We're going to let y equals e to the mx and our characteristic equation becomes m squared plus 4m plus 6 is equal to 0. Now m squared plus 4m plus 6 does not factor and I'm going to solve this by completing the square. I'm going to bring the 6 over to the right side so that I get m squared plus 4m equals negative 6 and then when we complete the square we take half of 4 I'll do that off to the side half of 4 and then square the result half of 4 is 2 2 squared gives you 4 and so I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation and when you complete the square, this left side becomes a perfect square. m squared plus 4m plus 4 factors into m plus 2 squared. On the right side, negative 6 plus 4 gives us negative 2. I can solve this by taking the square root of both sides. That will give me two answers. Gives me m plus 2 equals plus or minus if I bring that negative out it becomes an i square root of 2 and then if I carry this 2 to the right side I get m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus i square root of 2 now I have imaginary solutions because I have imaginary solutions my linearly independent solutions are going to be written in the in terms of sines and cosines the real part is the exponential, so I'm going to get e to the negative 2x, and then I'm going to have cosine, take the coefficient of i, square root of 2, whoops, square root of 2 times x. My second solution is e to the negative 2x sine square root of 2 times x. I should put that in parentheses. So my general solution, I could factor out that e to the negative 2x and I'll have one constant times the cosine. Plus another constant times the sine. and there's our answer. Cheese.